Ryan Smith, joined by Madison Capitals head coach and general manager Troy G. Ward. Coach, we get to look ahead to a month of November that features a whole lot of in-conference matchups. We'll get to that in a little while here. But first off, backtracking to last weekend, a one-game weekend against the Omaha Lancers, and a game where the start was not, not the most thrilling thing in the world, but you, your team found a way to claw back in it late, just couldn't find the equalizer in a third period that saw you guys outchance Omaha by quite a bit. What are some of your takeaways from that game, and what are some things that you can improve upon from that game? I think the one thing that really comes to mind from early in that game is the power play for Omaha, which had been struggling so badly, and the penalty kill for your club, which had been doing so well, kind of had a little bit of a reversal early on in that game. Yeah, I mean, you look back at that game, obviously you'd change the start, Ryan. You would change how we played in the first period. I think any time you have teams at this, this in, within this league and at this age level, you have kids traveling. Like, it's important that you establish home ice, and we didn't establish home ice in the first period, and that gave them some room to breathe. And, you know, whenever you can breathe in the game and go into somebody else's barn and you don't find the ice difficult and you get to breathe throughout the whole 60, you know, first 20 minutes, it, Becomes a difficult process. The as relative to your question on the power play and the penalty kill, our penalty kill has been better of late. Um, but penalty kill has always been based on, and still is most of the time, no matter what level you're at, is based on goaltending. We let in, a, you know, a leaker. The first goal was a real leaker, and it's from the side, from a bad angle, and those are tough saves for goalie. And you know, there's no disrespect to our goaltending. It's a tough save, but it's known as a leaker, and that kind of started the ball rolling for them and then we had to play catch up from that point on and they got some momentum out of it and uh, you know that turned into in, inevitably was the result of, of the loss. If there's a piece of good news for your club it's the fact that since the first two games of the year your team has not lost back-to-back -back games since that time and beginning this Friday you open a stretch of the month of November where eight of the nine games will be against divisional foes and Almost all of those games are against teams that you've already seen, against the likes of a Dubuque Fighting Saints, Cedar Rapids, Rough Riders, Chicago Steel, Green Bay Gamblers, and so be it. As we start to see a little bit more separation in the month of November as these teams start to beat up on each other, what strides would you still like to see from your team as this month of November weighs on and hopefully sees your team create a little bit of separation in the standings in the uh, opening quarter of the year here? Well, the strides we'd like to make, I think, are all based on the fact that hopefully we get ourselves to a position where we're just playing more games. I think it's been, um, if I was a player, and there's no excuse, I think all teams are in the same boat, but I, I think I, there's no rhythm to the league. You know, coming back to this league after years off, there's no rhythm. Players are playing one game, three games, two games, and then we're back-to-back one-game weekends. It's often really hard at this age to establish some offensive and team rhythm, and, and Everybody faces it, and I think it's been our, one of our biggest Achilles heels to this point in the season. Whenever we've played a lot of games in that short amount of time, we've been pretty good. When we play these one-game weekends, it's a difficult process. And so, you know, for us, it's I'm glad we're going to play a lot of month, games this month because I think it's when our team is at its best. Um, the other part we'd like to continue to move forward is we've just got to become a better checking team as the year wears on. You know, we've had some some real attributes offensively to our team, but we've got to become more honest and we've got to become a better checking team. And over the course of this month, to speak to your point about more games, there will be one stretch of eight games in the span of 16 nights, so you'll get your wish in that regard. This Friday, your squad gets to have a chance at some retribution against the Dubuque Fighting Saints, a team that on opening night, and you've referenced it a couple times when we've chatted, how it's sort of like a box of chocolates. You're never quite sure what you're going to get in an opening game, and that certainly was the case in Dubuque back in September. And both clubs have really shown that their offensive exploits that night were really not a fluke. And both teams have really calmed themselves down defensively since that time. So now that each team has been able to play 10 to a dozen games this season, do you expect it to be anything like the track meet that it was in the first game of the year? Or what kind of differences do you expect to see out of Jason Lambert's group this week? Well, I think it could be the same. I think both teams explosively are, can do that to each other, and we can do that to other teams in the league. I think both teams are capable. I think, as you said, the stats are proven that right now. So I don't, I don't see that. It could be an open ice game where there's a lot of goals again, like there was in Dubuque in early, or excuse me, late September. But at the same time, I think both teams have matured enough and we've settled in where it could be a very defensive game, or a very defensive battle. And you're just going to show up and see how it goes, and we'll go from there. But I think both teams are, you know, in a position where they both want to make um, statements because I think, you know, like you mentioned, throw out the first one box of chocolates and let's see where we're at with right now. It's kind of a benchmark, but, you know, regardless of how that shapes itself out, we go again following Friday down in the youth against them. So we're going to find out a little bit where we stand against them here in the next couple of